Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Tom Pop featuring Fat Man Little Boy. My name is Stephen Corka. I'm Juan Farage. And uh, we're here to talk about... <laughs> Godzilla. King of Monsters, guys. Godzilla, King of Monsters. Just real quick, right from the get-go, Wonski here has said that this is going to be the movie of 2019, in his opinion. Like, maybe not what everyone else likes, but he doesn't give a fuck. It is he, going to be my favorite movie It's going movie to be his year. favorite movie of the year. This movie came out a couple weeks ago in the month of May uh, 2019. It's now uh, mid-June, or almost mid-June. We just saw the movie uh, because we've been busy, man. Been busy. We've been busy. We've been, been busy at the store. Busy. Life's, been, Life's busy. been busy, and and just Godzilla, King of Monsters. We just sure. we couldn't make it happen. So we ended up seeing it on a smaller theater than desired, with a sound system that was good, but not as good as if you saw it on IMAX. If you're gonna go see this movie, IMAX. Agree? It's probably too late. It is probably is too late. This is the best sounding movie since Blade Runner. R really, Blade Runner did sound amazing. As much as I didn't like that movie, I know, but the sounds the were insane. The sounds were insane. It's it's Michael Bay Transformers sound level. Yeah, that the cool. Yeah, you can't you can't because dispute the, the, listen, the hate on Transformers all you want. But no one can it argue good. that that shit sounds great. No, Close your good. eyes and you're like, what the fuck this, is going this, on? This right is now? this is definitely like high quality. This is the yes. Uh, this is the best sound to come from a from a kaiju movie. It sounded better than any of the Pacific Rims. I mean, the actual kaiju themselves. Oh, see, I like Pacific Rim because it was like Transformers meets kaiju. I, I like I, I understand, but I, I like yeah. how the kaiju sounded in this. Uh, I mean, they did sound great. It was it was epic. It really yeah. was. The kaiju battles were epic. Um, like the first Godzilla, which came out a couple years ago. It the, was okay. The, it, the, I was also super excited for that movie. So I think we both were, and because and, and we first, saw Brian Cranston, we're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. You know, and that we movie, saw that on release. We saw it on release, and we have a review for it up too, if I oh, remember wow. correctly. Um, that movie was amazing. That was amazing. Right up until Brian Cranston died, and then the movie sucked. And ass. then the movie sucked, because then you followed follow around Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Who yeah, it was like Starship Troopers for yeah, quality. Who, who coincidentally were in Avengers: Age of Ultron, which came out the same year yeah, yeah. as Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Um, neither of them, by the way, make an appearance in this movie. But the Japanese scientist slash military guy makes another appearance. He's in the, he's sure. in the movie a lot, actually. Yeah, a lot. And and drops puns left and right. True or false? This is bad script. Yes, like the whole like he'll be like, you don't understand. We need to do Godzilla. Every time he would say Godzilla, it'd be like over like exaggerated, like Godzilla. Right. And it was just like, come on, yeah, man. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, his character his character was bad in the first Godzilla. Wasn't great in this Godzilla either. Agreed? Agreed. The human element overall was just The like, humans were terrible. <clears throat> yeah. All the humans were terrible except... Except who? The guy from Friday Night Lights. Which one is that? The main guy. The main guy... Who was the main guy again? I'm, I'm drawing a blank right so now for some reason. So, the main guy. So, I'll tell you why I Spoilers, love Spoilers, guys. You, this is how you'll know it's the main guy. Number one, they're like, what should we do with the kaiju? He's like... What are you talking about? We should kill all of them. Oh, him. And then, yes, like, yes, yes, yes. Like, the the guy, Kaiju are coming. What the should dad, we do? The dad. Yeah, the dad. He's like, yeah. uh, we should turn around and run. Yeah. Like, best reactions in a movie ever. And the best is when his wife is like, um, basically ends up, and spoiler. Spoiler. The yeah. wife ends up being the leader of the Echo Terrorist. Yeah. He's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're insane. Yeah. Turns to the military and is like, we should fucking kill this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that guy had the best. Re like, right? It's probably yeah. some of the most realistic reactions we could expect to see in a movie. Yes, because it was basically like, we need to hide, kill this shit, kill my ex-wife. Yes, like, yeah, great. Yeah. He did good. He did good. Uh, and, and Eleven did great too. Eleven was okay. Bobby, what's her name? She's okay. She feels a little pushed. I don't like her. I, I enjoy her, but I don't feel she's charismatic at all. She has. A, she's always with that same stupid look from Stranger Things. You think she's typecast? Yeah. Okay, it's possible. I think, but she, I think she's kind of like. She's doing it to herself in this movie. She just looks like fucking Eleven in a kaiju movie. I uh, yeah, minus yeah. the nosebleed. Yeah, except the nosebleed. And she's got but hair. It, it's that same stupid look. That oh. yeah, 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 no. Um, 
Listen, uh, you, of so course. Out of all the humans, he's the only one I like. Of course, of course, you hate uh, political liberal undertones in our movies. Uh, what did you think of the whole eco terrorist? You know, we need to release the kaiju because because the monsters because they will cleanse the earth of humans who are destroying our planet. It sounds like like that belongs in a Steven Seagal movie, honestly. Okay. So you garbage. you it's hated stu- that shit, it, but it's stupid. It's fucking stupid. I mean, stupid. as soon as that shit came out, I my my immediate reaction like it's like being at the doctor's office and they hit your knee. I look over at Juan just to see what he does, and it, it always it never fails. He's like, oh, fuck. because the, oh. the whole eco terrorist thing is <clears throat> fucking stupid, and and they do that shit all the time now. It seems in all, all these the movies, time. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean. It, it was really weak, and you know what? I, I that guy that played like, it, it, it's just all the human roles were acted terribly. Yeah, they were all really bad, and yeah. and there's no that that guy that played the leader of the eco terrorists. Uh, he was uh, 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 Lannister. He was horrible. What's his yeah. name? Uh, Whoever plays that Ty Tywin Lannister. Tywin Lannister. Yeah, He's, he was terrible. Yeah. Um, so the human element, not so great. The script, w- uh, and, and again, the plot revolving around the equal terrorist, that was fucking awful. Um, but that, which was really like the main and, and thing. And it's not like a political thing with me, right? It's yeah. just a stupid, like, th- 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 it's kind of what he did in, um, what they did in, um, Kingsman. In the first one. First one. Yeah. Yes. Yes, 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 because humans are, right. are, are horrible. In Kingsman, that yeah. shit was funny. Yeah. Right, but here even, they, they even, try- even though I hated Sam Jackson's right. lisp. Right, but yeah. it made sense in that movie. It was funny. Yeah. Right, and it made sense. Okay. In this movie, they actually take themselves seriously. Yeah. And I cannot believe that there's one human being on Earth that thinks a way to fix the Earth is to destroy the Earth. That that's fucking stupid. Yes. So I hated that. Uh, I always hate those type types of plot points. Well, remember that they, they wanted to control the kaiju with this like device that could create their language and speak to them. And yeah, they, but they and were they still going to kill mil- billions, they, they, millions. They thought of in 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 controlling the monsters, they could do population control and and fix the earth. I mean, like right again. And, but it went it went south on them because guys, spoilers. The main villain really is the three headed dragon monster. What's his name? Gojira. Who's not a titan of this planet, we come to find out. Yes. He's a titan from an alien world. What'd you think about that? Unbelievable. You liked it? Awesome. Okay. And whereas Godzilla is the king of monsters for Earth, this guy is the king of monsters from his alien and planet. they're both alphas. Both alphas. Trying to control the rest of the kaiju. Yes. And who? And this, and what, Raikou, is that his name? The the three-headed monster, what's his name? Gojira. Gojira, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Where did I get Raikou from? Uh, Gojira apparently has healing powers as Are well. Are you talking about like Pikachu? I don't know, dude. Ignore, ign- Just because of the electricity? Dude, ignore what I said. Anyways. Um, That's kind of funny. Shut the fuck up. Gojira is like the ultimate form of Pikachu. Whatever. Gojira, Gojira has healing powers like Wolverine because he got his head torn off quite a few times and it grew back. And he controls light. He has like lightning powers. Yes. Yes. And he flies. And he disrupts the weather system. He's awesome. And uh, let me tell you, as a villain, he worked. Like any time Gojira was on screen, you knew shit was gonna get fucked up. Yes. Like he was a great villain. Yes. Yes. Um, and the design was awesome. Uh, they look, had some. It, it, it looked just like. You would think it would look. Yeah, exactly. So, like, when Gojira gets on top of that volcano yeah. and spreads his, like, wings and lightning just starts shooting out, yeah. that looked fucking amazing. Yeah. Uh, tons of destruction, guys, here, too, in this movie. Like, like the planet is in shambles after this movie. And if you did not hear, Kong vs. Godzilla is supposed to be the next one in this, but who knows how the fuck oh, they're going to do that. Um, yeah. But, next, how do you, how, Godzilla looks great still. A, know, as like, he so, should. Like, the, the first Godzilla was basically a movie that was made as a, a political statement on uh, on <laughs> nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, Godzilla is obviously a product of you know a nuclear nuclear radiation atomic well, radiation. Godzilla's always been there. He's one yeah. of the many titans, which they said there were like 18, 19 titans on the planet. And counting. And counting. And he's he's one of them who was awoken and and powers even enhanced right. and, by um, by uh, radioact radio um, atomic bomb testing in the Pacific. Right. Which and we saw in the beginning credits sure. of the first Godzilla, if you remember. His I love the way that he lights up when he powers up. Yes. The sound that it makes is 
Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then his blue beam, it looks awesome. Godzilla looked awesome. It's the best he's ever looked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best he's ever looked. Yeah. Um, Rodan was great. Yes. Uh, I think that this Rodan's an improvement on the older Rodan. I think it looks great. What about the fire demon? What about Mothra? Okay, Mothra. I love Mothra, dude. Yeah. Mothra looked. It looked gorgeous on screen. Yeah. Like, it looked really good. Um, and and then, Mo Mothra's a good guy, guys. Yeah, Mothra's a good guy. Yeah, as is Godzilla. Everyone else is evil. Yeah. Well, all the other ones I, are did, I didn't like the Mastodon, dude. No, no. And, and I'm glad they kept them all, like, minor. Some of them yeah. were better kept minor. Uh, and, they, and the main villain from the first Godzilla, the one that had the EMP blast, mm -hmm. was in this movie as yeah. well, again. Um, so, those are the four main... Th I, the four main kaiju you're going to see, right? Godzilla... Gojira, Mothra, and Rodan. Yeah. They were all done awesome. Yes. They looked great. Um, my my favorite scenes, obviously, Godzilla and the Gojira fights were, were really well done. Yeah. But even that Mothra and Rodan fight was brutal. I thought Mothra was going to die. Yeah, they ripped Mothra to shreds. Yeah. Like, they that was violent. Yeah. If there were humans. That would have been Death. hard R. Death, yeah. Hard R. Yeah. Because it was brutal. So. Was the um, movie rated R? I don't remember. I don't, think, I don't know. I wouldn't think I don't so. know. Whatever. Yeah. So um, all the kaiju were really well designed. All the kaiju looked really good. All the fights were awesome. That's about it. Do you think it's the best monster movie you've ever seen? We're talking Godzilla 1, all the King Kong movies, right, so, all that stuff. So we got, we got in contention here, I got three movies I can name. My yeah, favorites, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to put this one up in the top three for me. Uh, Pacific Rim number one. It's top three. You think Pacific Rim is better than this movie? Uh, I'm not. I'm not putting them in order. I'm just telling you the. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, so okay. Pacific Rim is up there. Yeah. And uh, did you see Uprising? By the way, the second Pacific no. Rim. Neither did I. Go on. And uh, Cloverfield. Cloverfield's fuck. Good call. I totally I, forgot I still about that. I think Cloverfield. And and ever since it came out, I've always said this. Cloverfield is the best Godzilla movie I've ever seen. Fuck. Cloverfield's amazing. Way to go, JJ. So, oh my god. And, and I, I still think that Cloverfield's my favorite. I think that uh, I would put probably Pacific Rim after it, and and this one third. And and the reason that I put Pacific, I, I'm gonna agree with you on. Uh, you, know, you know what? I take that. I, back. I mean, maybe okay. Kong Skull Island is better than this too. I, I yes, right. it is. Yes. And and the reason I'm gonna say Pacific Rim over this is because the story was way better. In Pacific Rim, it was yes. the 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 actors were. <clears throat> Oh, they were about the same, but the story was way better. Way and better. They have Idris Elba. So. Yes, and 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 those. Those mech, those mech fights, were awesome. yeah, holy they're, they're awesome. shit, man! That's where they fucked up on Uprising. They just looked. Well, like, they fucked up because yeah. it wasn't what's his name, uh, Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, it wasn't involved. Right? But holy shit! And you know, Pacific Rim was Guillermo del Toro's passion project. He was working on that for decades. And, really? And he finally got it made, and then after I, th I thought his was scary stories to tell in the dark. The one that he's doing now. Well, this was this was. Well, either way, Guillermo del Toro loves monsters. We all know. So that. I would go. It, it's not. It's not the <laughs> best. It, it might. It'll probably be around top five. Based just based of on course, the. Top on the Five. I mean, there's not a huge number of options either. Well, there's, there's, it's not a superhero a few, but. franchise, but but yeah, you could probably name ten monster movies, and then you're you're out of up. And you don't but know yeah, it's that. it's really good though. It's really really good. I think it's, it's, a, it's a, good. I, I think it's a movie that um, I, I told a friend of mine my uh, uh, he basically my recommendations when he asked for my recommendations on movies is it, should I watch it in theater? Would it make a difference? Yeah. Right, there's movies like Usual Suspects, one of my favorite movies of all time. It doesn't matter if you see that in the theater or at home, it's going to be the same experience. Yeah, for sure. Right, but you take something like uh, like Blade Runner, it's yeah. a different viewing experience. Yeah. Right? Um, this is a movie you need to see in the theaters. Yeah. No, I agree. It enhances the movie. I agree. And it is June right now, guys. You don't have a lot of time to do so. So if you are going to see it in theaters, get on it. Um, I like the little Easter eggs all about Kong. Oh, Skull Island. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the movie, during the end credits, they definitely. No, but within the movie. Yeah. Within the movie, they mentioned Kong Island. You they saw did. it in the. They pointed they out did, in the yeah. middle of the ocean. Yeah. Uh, Atlantis. That was a. Uh, that was cool. Yeah, they did. Well, we, they, we don't know if it's Atlantis, it's Atlantis, but we can assume it's Atlantis. Um, yeah, they showed Atlantis. The end credit scenes, bullshit. I like them. It was bullshit. But you're talking at the very end. The very end. Oh, showing the the head of the, the head of Gojira. Of, uh, Gojira. Uh, that didn't bother me. I mean, we needed to see Kong. We needed to see Kong, but but. I didn't mind seeing Gojira. Right. I love seeing the newspaper clippings and the news, the news clippings from the post movie and how they said all the monsters were were fleeing to Skull Island. Like they, they th that in my opinion was the hint that hey, God, there's, there's a Kong's new, coming. Yeah, there's a new boss. Here's here's my thing though, Godzilla. Watching this movie and watching Kong Sky Island, I don't know how Kong can defeat Godzilla. 
Because Kong got the shit kicked out of him in Skull Island. You know? Kong can't defeat Godzilla. There's no way. I don't think so either. I don't think so either. And I don't even think he's as big as Godzilla, to be honest. No. Yeah. But either way, whatever. They're making that movie, even though Godzilla King of Monsters is the lowest money intake out of all the recent monster movies. And from what I understand, the studio's really reevaluating their monster franchises now. But we'll see. It's really? That's what I, yeah, I read that today. That's really fucking sad. I know. I know you don't like that. Yeah. No, because you know what? Like, yeah, go back, go back. Other than, yeah, granted, you had we didn't see Uprising, right? Yeah. They don't make movies like this, so it's cool that after so many superhero movies and the same drama and war movies, yeah, and that you have like unique things like this that present a different viewing experience. See, here's the thing, though. We live in a world now where every studio wants to be like Marvel Studios, where they want billion-dollar-plus movies, and if they don't get billion-dollar movies, they consider it a failure. Keep in mind, Batman vs. Superman did over $800 million, I think, and Warner Brothers considered that a failure. Yeah, you know, Suicide Squad did seven hundred something million. They considered that a failure. Man of Steel did six hundred something million. They considered that a failure. That's not a failure, guys. That is an astounding feat for any movie to make. But the problem is, is the new competition is your two plus billion dollars Avengers Endgame, your one plus billion dollars Captain Marvel and Black Panther, and, and, and let's be and fair. Jurassic World also. They the studios. The, I I I don't feel like there's been a, a two month span like this of movies. Tons. I, I think if Avengers would have come out any other time, it would have easily broken the Avatar record. Yeah. Right, because Black Panther came out last year, and between Black Panther and Infinity Watch, there was nothing. Yeah. Right, and every week Black Panther was a top movie. Yeah. Every fucking week. Yeah. We have, ever since Avengers came out, dude, in no particular order, Avengers, Detective Pikachu, right? War of the Monsters, John Wick 3, Aladdin. Like, I'm missing shit. Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix. And there's still shit. I'm sure there's still shit missing. Um, yeah. Like, sure. it's been just, like, movie after movie, like, top movies, Brightburn. Not, like, not to mention... That's, that's being put out of theaters already. Not to mention three weeks before Avengers, you had Shazam, and three weeks before that, you had Captain Marvel. Right. And you know? so... Right now, that, you, you, you know? have you're sticking War of the Monsters in the middle of Avengers, Dark Phoenix, John Wick, Detective Pikachu, Aladdin. Yeah. You have this weekend Come Men in Life Black of Pets is coming too. out. Men in Black Two. Secret Life of Pets came out, which made a, sh a ton of money. It did, yeah. All this shit has an effect. Spider Man's so, coming out. It's. I feel it's super unfair to judge any of these movies right now. But the thing is, studios want a Marvel. They want Marvel numbers. They want Disney numbers. Well, they need to put their movies. They need to release them when there's not a fucking shit ton of movies coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the scheduling, you look at that. That was... I, I knew that War of the Monsters, uh, King of Monsters, whatever, uh, Godzilla 2 was not going to perform. You know what? All these other studios should have put shit out in May. Everything should have been, like, starting in June. Yeah. You know? They should have... May should have been nothing but just Avengers. You yeah. Know? And no. and even though the theaters would have complained or whatever the fuck it was, you know, or put your art house films in, you know, that cost yeah. you nothing to make, you know, to give audiences options if they want. It's it's just for me, other than like longtime fans of kaiju movies, right? Like myself, right? Yeah. You you I take my kids to the theater, right? Yeah. And I tell my kids, what do you want to see? My daughter wants to see Aladdin. Yeah. My son wants to see Pikachu. What assholes? Fucking assholes. I know. It's a parking lot, so, guys. So my son wants to see Aladdin. No, I'm not. My daughter wanted to see Aladdin. Yeah, yeah. My son wants to see Pikachu. Yeah. I want to see John Wick 3. Yeah. What the fuck happens to a movie like Godzilla? Like, how is that going to pull in people? It's not. Because it's not. You're, 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 you're wanting your kids, right? Godzilla's a movie that you want 12-year-old boys to want to go see. Yeah, for sure. Right? And but your son didn't want to see it. It's not that he wants to see it. But he wants to see Pikachu. But he wants to see, Pik he wants to see Pikachu first. He yeah, wanted yeah. to see Avengers first, which he got to see, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he wants to see Pikachu. My daughter wants to see, wanted to see Aladdin. She got to see Aladdin. Right. And and now the next movie we're going to go see as a family is probably going to be Pikachu. Which was great. Which is fine. I'm yeah. not complaining. But it just shows the problem with, with Godzilla. Godzilla's probably going for, you're looking like those preteen, teenage boys, right? And that 30 to 45-year-old males. Yeah. That's where it's going to make its money. Girls don't give a fuck. Girls don't give a fuck. We're yeah. being pulled apart. Yeah. John Wick 3. Oh. Interesting world, guys. Either way, go watch these movies without you guys watching them. We don't have them. Uh, 
And case in point, we don't know what what happens after Kong versus Godzilla, if anything at all. You know, they can go the way of the Western. Um, and Shut the fuck up. Sorry, dude. Western is my favorite. I'm just, but but genre. But Western used to be the shit. What's your favorite Western movie? What's my favorite Western movie? Yeah. Holy shit. Pick one. One Western? Yeah. I don't know, man. You, you got to do something else. Tombstone. I'll be your Huckleberry. Tombstone's not bad. Tombstone's the shit, dude. Fuck you, dude. Tombstone's not. I'm not saying it's not bad. Dude, what are you going to say? Unforgiven? No, but Unforgiven was really good. Not better than Tombstone. Unforgiven was really fucking It good. was, but not better than Tombstone. We can say The Quick and the Dead. What the fuck are you talking about? Gene Hackman, no. Sharon Stone. No. When I Sharon Stone that. kills her dad. I think the proposition was really, really good. You can pick a John Wayne Probably movie. Probably the proposition is better. Hmm. Tombstone's the shit, dude. I'm with Tom. Tombstone all day. Anyways, we totally the just, wild bunch. We totally just changed the subject, wild guys. Wonski obviously has a passion for westerns and the and the and the frontier land. Did you did you like going? Did, I, it's, it's have the, you been to Disney World so, so when Steve, you were a kid? It's, it's not fair that you did that to me because it's Why? it's not about the frontier land. It's about the tropes in westerns. Okay. That's why I like westerns. Like, I consider that movie Drive with Ryan Gosling. That's a western. Oh, God. It's a western. God, you, that's such a fucking philosophical romantic take on fucking the genre. Drive is a western. Whatever. Okay, cool. It's a modern western. Anyways, guys, go see Godzilla. It's fucking good. It sounds way better than that. It does. Way better than that. I don't do it justice. Uh, and I don't say that if if you find it anywhere in IMAX, like it probably will, you won't. <coughs> probably but if won't. you do, Too late. you you need you guys need to see this in the best sound available. Yeah, no. or just wait till it comes on video and wear headphones. Yeah, good headphones. Okay, that'd be good, right? Maybe you ever do that? I've never done that. I've never watched a movie with headphones. <laughs> I'm sure that's pretty crazy. Feels right? unnatural. Yeah, didn't we get spooked in Godzilla? We did jump. Yeah. When that shit hit the glass. Yeah, we were like, ah! Yeah. Pull the <laughs> Yeah, and I think one other time. Yeah. I think some, like, scream that I wasn't expecting or some shit. Theater was empty, though. Ugh. Yeah, sad. 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 Anyways, guys. Uh, Godzilla King of Monsters. It's out for a little while longer. Go check it out. Um, other than that, come check us out at our uh, three locations. Corker Comics in Miami, Coral Gables, and Pembroke Pines. Subscribe, like, share, comment on our YouTube uh, channel. Uh, um, we appreciate all the love. YouTube.com forward slash Corker Comics. Uh, for Tom Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Steven. One. Thanks.